Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be my 24 to 29 week pregnancy update. And I'm going to warn you guys from now, this is going to be a long video. I might get a little emotional because I want to be truthful with you guys. I want to be honest and real with you guys. I don't want to pretend like I'm having this perfect pregnancy. You know, I know there's women out there who do have and I did have a really good pregnancy with my son, but this pregnancy, a lot has changed, a lot is different, and I just want to let you guys know what's going on, why I've been missing so much, and everything like that. So, it's going to get started. So, as of today, I am 29 weeks and 3 days, and sorry if you see, see me looking to the side, I have like this whole list written out on my iPad of things that I want to get through because I feel like they're important for me to let you guys know. So like I said, I'm 29 weeks and 3 days. My due date is May 11th. Um, <clears throat> as of right now, I've gained 9 to 10 pounds. I started at 101 and I'm between 109, 110, around there. According to what to expect, it says the baby is the size of a butternut squash and about 3.1 pounds. So. I just want to give you guys a bit of a background, so I'm just scrolling my iPad, sorry. A bit of a background as to what I went through before with my son and why it's leaded up to where I am today. So once me and my husband got married, pretty much right off the bat we knew we wanted to try to get pregnant and have kids soon. So we started trying and then six months into our marriage we realized, okay, well, I'm not getting pregnant, there's something wrong. So we checked with my OB and we found out that I had PCOS. So they put me on metformin and I think it's Clomid or Coumadin or something like along those lines. And I was supposed to be on that for three months, go back for a checkup and see where my body's at. But once I went on both the prescriptions, within two weeks I got pregnant and obviously we were ecstatic. Um, that pregnancy was fine. I think once I got pregnant, I stopped the medications. I was just on prenatals. And that pregnancy was fine up until about 27 weeks, I started getting pains here and there. And then at 28 weeks, I ended up getting Celestone, which is a steroid shot. I got that because they didn't know if my son was going to come early or not. So they gave it to help develop his lungs in case he did. I think two weeks after that, I was put on bed rest for about two weeks, then I went back to work. Um, this was in July. He was originally due August 31st. So then we had his baby shower on the Saturday, and then the Sunday after the baby shower, I felt like my body was different. I felt there was changes. So I remember putting things away from the baby shower and then going and telling my husband that I knew my son was coming by the end of that week. So that day we went and bought his crib, set it up and everything. Then I had gone to work Monday, Tuesday, and then I had a, I think a diabetic check on the Wednesday. So then I, that Wednesday morning, like five o'clock in the morning, I was like leaking fluid. So I said, while I'm in the hospital, I'm gonna go see my OB. So I went to go see my OB and when he checked me, I started dilating already. I was one to two centimeters, and I was only 34 weeks. So because I was dilating, he sent me to the birthing center. I got checked there, and I think an hour or two later, I was, went from one to two to two to three. So they admitted me right away, and they said that I would have to stay in the hospital until my son was born. Even if it was weeks, I would have to stay there. Luckily, they came and they broke my water Thursday afternoon, I believe, Thursday morning, and then by Thursday afternoon, I wasn't dilating anymore, so they started putting me on Pitocin and Oxytocin, and Thursday evening, or afternoon, 4.44, I had our son. Since he was six weeks early, he was in the hospital for two weeks just to monitor him, and he had a bit of um, problems with, I think, swallowing so he had to learn to suck and swallow but two weeks after he was released and now he's a happy healthy active two and a half year old 
So because of my past, because of the diabetes, because of my son being premature, and now I have diabetes again. So they gave me the Celeste Stone. Wait, let me back up first. From the last update, I think I would, told you guys that I had the diabetes, but I wasn't on insulin. But I was put on insulin at, I think, the following week. So like 24 weeks, I was put on insulin twice a day, four units at lunch, four units at dinner. And that was going fine until last week. I was given the Celestone at 28 weeks on Wednesday evening and then Wednesday night I started feeling really sick and I had to go back for the second dose on Thursday evening but all day Thursday I was sick couldn't move I was just laying on the couch all day couldn't even cook couldn't do anything so when I went for my Celestone second shot the Thursday I mentioned it to the nurse and she became really concerned because my sugar was too high and my body, I have a, such a small body that she said that I need to get it under control ASAP or I would be having the baby either that weekend, which was the last weekend that passed, or early this week. So before I even left the birthing center, they had to get a hold of my diabetic doctor and pretty much what he did that for that night was raise my insulin from four units to seven units breakfast lunch and dinner and then I had to call the diabetic clinic the Friday to find out what else I had to do so when I called Friday they ended up putting me on a second insulin at bedtime to try to keep my sugars down um it didn't work right away it's still not working completely my sugars are up and down, my sugars are everywhere. So I'm being monitored very, very closely. Um, so pretty much I see the diabetic clinic every two weeks now, I think. I see my OB every two weeks and then I see my OB today. And because of everything that's been going on, I need to go to the birthing center every Friday to have the baby monitored. I think it's called NST. It's like when they put the two blue monitors on your stomach to keep track of the baby's heartbeat and movement to make sure everything's fine, to make sure you're not contracting and stuff like that. So pretty much I'm in the hospital every week either for two or three appointments, which sucks. It's taking a toll on my body, but there's nothing I can do. We're just thankful the baby didn't come over the weekend or earlier this week because she, she would have been really early and the reason I smile is because I slipped and said the gender I was gonna reveal it at the end of the video but yes we're having a girl um yeah she would have been really early and with the way my body's been feeling I still think she's gonna come really early I've been getting a lot of pelvic pain a lot of spinal pain just pain all over. I've never felt anything like this when I was pregnant with my son. This is like the worst pregnancy I've gone through and I just can't wait for it to be over but I'm not prepared to have her yet. In between pregnancy of my son and our daughter, I did get pregnant back in January and we didn't know at first and then we ended up having a miscarriage around 10 weeks I think four days and that was like the hardest thing I had to go through like I've never experienced a miscarriage I wouldn't want anyone to experience a miscarriage it's just you feel something ripping out of you and that was the worst feeling in the world and on top of that it happened when I was at home, luckily. My husband was home with me. It was like 2 o'clock in the morning. But <clears throat> it happened. Like I went to sit on the toilet and the baby came out. And being a mother, to me, even though the baby is gone, I couldn't leave it in the toilet. So I put gloves on and I had little urine cups. So I went, I took the baby out and I put it in the urine cup and... 
an image that will never leave me is seeing the baby all curled up in like the fetal position and seeing like the bones and just like seeing the baby and after that I didn't want to get pregnant until this year but we ended up getting pregnant we didn't know I was pregnant until I think like 12-13 weeks <clears throat> so this year ending of last year and this year have been really rough this pregnancy's hasn't been easy whatsoever and then just going from the miscarriage into being pregnant and such a bad pregnancy at that it's been taking a toll on my body and that's why I haven't been making videos as often as I would like but I'm hoping to get through this pregnancy and then start back making the videos that I used to make trying to make my um, makeup tutorials and everything like that so I hope you guys understand but let's move on from that. Um, things that have changed and haven't changed. Um, changes I've experienced, which I didn't have with my son, is slower hair growth. It started with my arms, and now it's like my legs, my underarms, everything. Like there's really no hair, and if there is, like I don't need to shave for like maybe like a month, which I'm loving. But I know once the baby comes, that's all gone. Uh, appetite, I was always hungry. I still have my days, but then there's still days where it's like, uh, I don't feel to eat anything. Um, lots of movement. She moves a lot in the morning and a lot in the evening. Um, I was putting on weight pretty quickly at one point, but now it's kind of just like stabled off. S sorry, stabled off. Now it's like stabilized, it's just like, it's not going up, it's not going down, it's just there. Um, more tired, the nausea is back, back pain's back. I actually had really bad like spinal pain the other day. So we didn't know if I was gonna end up going and having contractions. We didn't know what was going on. Um sleeping at night is getting very uncomfortable, sitting is uncomfortable. Um, so those are the things that have changed. What hasn't changed is stretch marks. I haven't gotten any new stretch marks and I forgot to bring what it is that I've been using. So I was gonna get the Spoiled Mama and the Mama Mio. I looked into those, but then there's some things and there's some chemicals that I didn't really want to put on my skin. I had used the Palmer's Cocoa Butter with my son, but I got stretch marks. So I did some research and I ended up making my own organic raw body butter. And what I used was organic coconut oil, raw mango butter, aloe butter, shea butter, and cocoa butter and I mixed them all together and I got like 10 containers of them and that's what I use and I rub it all over my body usually in the evenings um, if you guys want to see a video on that or what I use for that just leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll do that my hair and nails are still growing really fast so that hasn't changed and that's pretty much everything for this update Nothing else I can think of. Sorry that it was such a long video. Like I said, I just wanted to be honest with you guys, let you guys know what's going on, and just explain why I've been missing and not making videos as often as I want to. My bump for 29 weeks and 3 days. This is just the front and the side. And I feel really tight in like the skin of my back and everything but I think compared to when I was pregnant with my son I'm about the same now only difference is I feel like my belly button is going to pop and I didn't have that with my son but it's like right there now <laughs> so hopefully it doesn't but there you go again there's 29 weeks and three days so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on my next video.